Last Vlogmas was all about riding other people's horses, and it's safe to say some owners were more supportive than others. What are you doing with your hands back down here? This year it's back. I'll be riding even spicier horses than last year, but of course there's a twist. It's time for the pros to ride mine too. Welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to day four of Vlogmas. So we've come from Warrington to Northamptonshire, and you'll see I am in a horse box, which means this episode is one where the professional is going to be riding my horse. Now, because of the stallion partition, I get to do a grand reveal of what horse we've got. Oh, can you tell by the voice, guys? Ready? Da -da 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 -da. Ta da! It is a Jamban, who has very recently had a clip, and this is actually her first proper outing. She's gonna pop her back there for later. Good girl. So, we know who the horse is, and I'm betting a couple of you might have figured out who the rider is based on what I'm wearing. I'm very excited, hence nearly falling over. So today, Jam is going to be ridden by Burley winner, Badminton winner, multiple team rider. <laughs> She's been on many a team is what I'm trying to say. None other than the incredible Piggy March. I genuinely cannot believe my luck that I've managed to persuade Piggy to get on my 15 hand Connemara and jump her around, but I have. So that's what we're doing today. So come around here and grab my tack quickly because I have got a little surprise. So long as Piggy isn't here. I have been lucky enough to come for a lesson with Piggy before. So she's seen Jam, she's seen me riding Jam obviously. And last time I came, I had a neck strap with my name on and Piggy was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like she really liked it. And then I've seen her since and she's mentioned it. Is Piggy there? It's fine, she can't hear me. Anyway, she's mentioned this neck strap a lot and I was like, what would be really cool would be to get one for her. So I bought a neck strap for her, but I'm just gonna tack jam up like normal, not say anything. And we're gonna see when she notices it. And if she notices it, she gets to keep it. If not, I'm keeping it, even though it's not my name. I think I've actually made it too small. Okay, so that is the plan, guys. It's a little uh, shout out to Supercross Country, actually, because they are the ones who make this next strap. However, I should not be mentioning other brands because this video, guys, it's a very important one. It's sponsored by a very, very good brand that's very close to my heart. And that, of course, is none other than... Oh, I've forgotten the name. Oh, my God. So it's just one of these ones where like, you get all these random brands that you never use. Granite Lens Media is the sponsor. Say it with a bit more enthusiasm. <laughs> So guys, it is actually a very exciting sponsor for this video because it is none other than Granite Lens Media, who you will know very well because every single video you watch, pretty much, sometimes he's busy filming for other people. Pete, stop panning in, man. <laughs> yeah, every video you watch is filmed by none other than Granite Lens Media, who is also Pete, my partner. But he is phenomenal at what he does and he is offering one very lucky person a social media content session. So this will basically be loads of reels for you to share on your social media. So depending on how you want to use it, you could, you know, maybe get him to come along to like a really special trip, like a beach trip or something like that. Or equally, if you're competing, get him to come along to a show day and get some really cool reels. Unfortunately, travel restrictions will apply depending on where this winner is. Of course, the giveaway is UK only, but if you're up in Scotland, we may have to come up with some kind of travel agreement. But it's an amazing prize, 100% worth it. We are very, very thankful here at Elfin Glen Ponies to have Granite Lens Media on board. Very lucky. Also, you're gonna be winning a saddle pad, just like this one but it won't be this one because this is the one that Piggy's gonna ride in and I'm going to keep it for years and years to come. Probably frame it. Really awkward if Pete and I ever break up after scribbling out the Granite Lens Media logo, but it will be special nonetheless. 
Was that all right, boss? Was that a good enough? Not Did... very professional, but... Yeah. Not very professional. Sorry. Grandlands Media is a wonderful business started up by a young entrepreneur producing some of the finest quality videography work you have. I haven't actually said you're a videographer. People know, don't they? Do you want me to redo that? Was that rubbish? No, nah, just keep that. Well. I think it's good. Do you want to keep the logo? Put the logo up. There? Here? In the middle. There. Sweet. Right. <sighs> the Mio Numbers are the best numbers in the world until you have to get the tags off and then they will cut your fingers. Right. Saddle pad. Should we go and find Piggy? Let's go and find Piggy. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't there to talk about this. Where's the thing? I'm going to keep it. Just, I need to chill out. I'm so excited. Right, let's go and find Piggy. Let's mic Piggy up, which Grant Lens Media also does. If you're actually, guys, genuinely, just to keep the pitch going a little bit longer, he, <laughs> Pete is doing videography full time. So he isn't just my videographer. So he's doing loads of brand stuff and also got other clients just like me. So giveaway aside, if you are looking for some super high quality content, whether it's long format with sound like we're doing now, or whether it's the nice slow motion reels that you see all over my Instagram, head over to the Granite Lens Media website. I will leave a link down below. That was more professional, wasn't it? I think that's quite good. All right, sweet. Um, should we do a little transition where you pan away and then we'll cut to meeting Piggy? He's great to work with, guys. Does everything you ask. Guys, I'm getting nervous about the next strap. I'm trying to like hide it because I want every action to be on camera. Anyway, Piggy is coming over. She's just put one of the doggies in the house. Do you think Piggy wants a grand reveal? No, she's already seen Jam. Hello, darling. Good girl. I know you're very excited. Do you know what Pete said this morning, guys, as we left the barn? Because this is Jam's first outing since her injury. So she's, she was absolutely gassed to be going out this morning. She was all like, oh. Anyway, she was a bit like nervy. And as she walked out, Pete was like, don't worry, Jam, you're going to be ridden by the best rider that's ever ridden you before, so you'll be fine. Nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> and I thought, that's really quite nasty, that Pete. Hello. So, she's not troubled in her massage pad. I popped it on when we got here. I've actually, you've lost a bit of weight, Jammy. It's straps are a bit big. Come on then, little one. Are you going to be like Halo, Piggy's lovely white horse? Good girl. See, do you recognise this? You've been here before. She says I'm strong. Do I start tacking up? So all I can think about is the neck strap. Just start tacking up. Ooh. 15 hands of pure muscle, guys. <laughs> Jam is looking a little bit podgy because we've taken it really slow. So she's jumped once at home since her injury and then Piggy's actually giving her her last jump before she goes to London Horse Show because although she is touch wood, doing really well, leg feels incredible, um, I'd always rather uh, on the side of caution. So we're doing just a bit less jumping than perhaps we could actually get away with, but better safe than sorry. All right. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All good, thank you. Hello. Your How is steed? I know, here she is. <laughs> a hasty steed. Let me know if she's uh, too big for you. <laughs> she's a pretty girl. She's got a lovely eye, she hasn't is, she? She is, yeah. She's dead sweet. Oh, she has a pelham. She is. Well, I find her really strong. She wouldn't normally have to jump in a pelham, but because she's had her injury, she hasn't, she's jumped once in three months. Okay. And I think she'll just be a bit like, I'm really excited. Right. And you know, I, I wanted to give you the best chance, Piggy, you know. <laughs> Good, she's had a sporting new haircut. She has, yeah. Good girl. She's ready to go to London. You're actually giving her her last jump before London. What's she doing in London? Doing, she's doing a masterclass. Is she? Yeah, with, Who with? Dickie Wager. Okay. And then my, um, my fellow rider is Laura Collett, so oh, that's going to be <laughs> embarrassing when I <laughs> can't do any of the exercises. Oh, God. Oh, but no, it should be good fine. fun. And after you've tuned her up for me, oh God, we'll be laughing. Well, it depends what we mean by tuning up. We <laughs> let's just see how we see how we get on. <laughs> good girl. Um, so this is her massage pad that she has on. Yes. Before she before you ride her. All my little back muscles up. Okay. She's, She's ten, you said, or, or nine. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Basically yeah. ten, isn't she? Coming ten. Coming ten. 
hopefully uh, off to Badders. Well, all being well, off to Badders again next year. I know. So this will be your third time going there? Yes. But this time you're going to try for the 100? Yeah, although we're not really telling people OK, that. we're not really. <laughs> Hello. Not How are you? Oh, we're off. We're... She says, right, hop on, Piggy. On the you bridle already. You can have the disadvantage of being bareback. <laughs> oh, God. I can't remember the last time I rode bareback. Really? Actually. Yeah, I don't. Oh, you should do like the Berry Farm bareback challenge or something. Oof. I don't think I'd be hopeless at that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the last time when you rode something this small was? Um, well, yes, actually. I think one of, how big is she? I don't know, 15 hands, I think. Yeah, one, we've got a, uh, one of our homebreds was, came out a little bit of a midget. <laughs> um, I think she might be 15-1. Okay. And she's quite a little sporty little thing. Yeah. Um, so she feels quite small, but no. This one definitely rides like a pony, that's for sure. Do you, darling? And you've had her since you were three? Yes, yeah, so we've had a fall from her. Oh, did you? Yeah, she's... Um, and is that what you've got home. to ride? Is that the, the One of them, yeah, the little... Okay. So she, well, she's actually going grey, but she, she kind of looks like okay. light brown at the minute. Okay. So I feel like I'm taking a lifetime to tuck up. It's okay, well, I could have done something useful and helped. No, 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 you're, I'm your groom today. But maybe I, I couldn't have been useful and just been more of a hindrance. <laughs> That's what Ames normally says. Get out of the way so I can get it done properly. <laughs> um, How are all of your lot? Yeah, I think okay. Are you super busy? Uh, um, yeah, we've had 29 in for a while, oh, which has not God. been that nice. Oh, so the last thing you needed was me being like, Ah, oh, no, it's horse? fine. It's fine. <laughs> Most of them are uh, quite young. We've got all the homebreds in, oh, wow. being broken in and doing it, which isn't really, it's nothing to do with me anyway. It's nice to watch them, but at least I don't have to do that. Yeah. God, um, yeah. And um, this is Sue, who's just arrived, who owns Brownie. Oh, amazing! Yes, yeah, so yeah, so this is actually a bit of a bonus episode, guys, because Piggy very kindly offered for me to ride Brownie again, who I rode in the demo. So there's mm. going to be a bonus episode coming of me riding as well. <laughs> right, we are getting there. I'll put some boots on her and then your steed is ready. OK, so is there anything, anything I need to know? Any do's or don'ts? I, oh God, this was weird me trying to give you advice. Well, no, it's just like, you know, you're, it's always, it's yeah. always so us, I, you always have that. My biggest struggle with her is because, you know, I'm quite pulley to a fence. Right. And I always think, oh God, it's just my nerves. But I actually find it really hard to take her into a fence without having to kind of hold her back the whole time. Okay. I think she is quite keen. Okay. Um, so yeah, the thing I struggle with the most is kind of getting actually a consistent rhythm. I think okay. our rounds are very much like, oh, pull, 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 go, yeah. go, go, and then like trying to yeah. sort of stay on top of it like that. But she's, she'll look at things, but she's not really a stopper, but no. she might do a little funny jump. Yeah. She's very genuine. She, yeah. You're not going to upset her. She'll always want to go. Yeah. Um, she's just quite keen. She's just quite keen. Yeah. Okay. I, I find that she tends to go towards the bottom of events. But okay. I don't know if that's me. Yeah. <laughs> like, just pulling yeah. so much that then we end up at the bottom of the fence. Hello, Donald. It's nice to meet you. Shall we go have a bit of fun? Does the tackle look okay? Well, I think it's absolutely fine. I've given you an extra strap so that if you get scared. Might need to whether your stirrups go long enough. Oh, uh, oh, we can change those. Maybe. It's okay. I can right go down to your bottom hole. Oh gosh, go. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ros Canter had to do like twirls in her stirrups, twists in her stirrups when she got on my horse at Arena UK. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be all right. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. Onto the bottom hole, sweetheart. Oh, wow. Um, I will need a mountain block because yeah. I'm a stiff old I mean, bird. she is big. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still just, couldn't I'm... get my foot to... Come <laughs> on, sweetheart. I'm just going to grab my coat. <laughs> There's nothing athletic or bendy about me, however big they are, of getting a foot to the stirrup and getting on. Hi, Di. Look, you've got, a, you've got an egg strap made. <laughs> you can't 
really noticed. You've got an neck strap like, made. Does the tackle look okay? I've got a neck strap for you. So the rule is, if you do a good job, you get to keep that. Do I? Oh, wow, that's really cool. you always mentioned my other one. I'm glad you noticed it. I started Yeah, it took time. me a while. She's not going to see it. Oh. Sadly, my husband said the same thing with flowers. He brought me flowers and it took me about three days to notice oh them God, as well. That's so, awful. Yeah, so he doesn't buy them anymore either. But So I'm a bit of a steady eddy of noticing things. Oh, well, this was quite good then. Yes. 15 minutes. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good girl, right, Dan. And we're away. Dan's like, I've never looked back. Come on, Piggy, me and you. Yeah. You'll be pleased to know, Meg, we're not on the last hole. We're going to go up one hole. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, not, not quite as short as we thought. <laughs> Do you need me to hold her? No, it's actually, I, I ride long. I've had many trainers try and shorten my stirrups. Oh. A lot, but I think I'm 43 years old and I'm probably going to be where I'm at. <laughs> Just going to roll with the punches now. Yeah, I think I am what I am now. Good it's girl. so weird seeing you on my horse. Just let her have a nice little look around. Yeah. She already looks better. <laughs> Walk half a circle. Did you ever have a Connemara when you had ponies or? Connemara types when we were growing up. Yeah. I remember r riding quite a lot of all sorts so yeah when I was um, when I left school to um, have a riding career I you know said to mum and dad let me have a go and I'll because they weren't keen on me going into this job because they couldn't have afforded really the you know, a team of event horses or that sort of thing and thought yeah. that I needed a job. So actually I did ride whatever I could. And so you get all sorts, little cubs, thoroughbred, mm. big things, ponies, you know, yeah. you ride what you can, but you, you learn a lot doing that as well. Yeah, definitely. And they've all, they've all got jobs. They've all got, you can have a lot of fun with any type of horse, breed. It's just understanding them and, um, getting the right sort for what, what you need. Yeah. Is it weird seeing her? It's really weird. <laughs> it's really weird seeing you on her, of all people. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying to Piggy earlier, guys, I don't... Oh, wait, no, I think my friend has jumped her once, actually. OK. So you'll be the third person to ever jump her. Right. <laughs> Does she feel very ponyish? Um, she's quite small, but she's very comfortable. OK. Um, you sit round her nicely. She's got a nice little front. I know it's not masses, but it's, um, you know, I like her ears. Yeah. They're sort of quite pricked. You feel like there's enough there that you're sat behind. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like I'm sat very up, up high. I thought because she was quite a short little thing, yeah. square, chunky little thing, <laughs> I would feel like I, you very much sat on her rather than in her. Yeah. And I don't get that feeling. Okay. I actually do feel, especially with you saying she's a bit tight in her back. Yeah. Um, where she actually does feel, you do sit into her. Okay. In the trot, so it'll be interesting what the canter. That's good. Good girl. Nice little rhythm. You can see why she's liked from a judge. Yeah. Because she's quite, she's nicely consistent in her, in her outline and the feel of the contact is a consistent feel. You've done a nice job there. With the feel down the rain. That's always good to hear. <laughs> good girl. 
Does she feel crooked to you? Does she feel what? Like at all crooked or does she crooked? Feel... Um I sometimes feel like I um on the right rein, especially in canter, like she goes a bit quarters in. Okay. But again, I don't know if it's me getting a bit tense and I because she will kind of curl up if you let her. They all have one rein that they find easier to be straighter on than the other. Yeah. Um, it's just try to, good girl, trot on. But that can also, we have one rein as well. Yeah. Um, that we find easier or might sit a bit more crooked or, good girl. I feel like I've told you she's really strong and excitable and then she's not being that today. <laughs> she says, wait till you see the jump. <laughs> My dog's go, just standing in the middle of the road for the shavings delivery. Oh. <laughs> it's a hard thing to, when horses get strong, not to just hang on. Yeah. Because it can make them actually a bit stronger doing that. Yeah. I um, think it's that's really, exactly what I do. It's a really difficult thing to train and a concept because naturally they're pulling, so we pull back. Yeah. Because you go, you don't like that. But the best thing you can do with a strong horse is try and let go every now and then. It's and it's the letting go. It's a half halt release, half halt release. Yeah. It's usually the release that will switch a horse off or calm it down or not have it so strong. But it's a really difficult thing to teach yourself to do when they're straining at the leash. Yeah. Good boy. That's probably why you've got on her and Good she's girl. just so calm. Because <laughs> I'd come out and probably be pulling her the whole way around. Hello, Buffa. Good girl. Oh, I know, that's scary, isn't it? What's scary in there? That's it. Never seen jump wings before. Yeah, I know, they all... So I would, if you think one's going to be keen to jump, I would start putting some transitions in. Okay. To get them to sort of feel like you can, you can slow them down with a half halt of your body or just thinking, whoa, and, with, and without them coming onto the hand too much. Right. So there, they get a bit of accepting of that half halt. Good girl. And then trot on. So it's sometimes not a full transition, yeah. but it's a waiting transition. Oh, good girl. <laughs> You're okay. Let's have a little bit of bend. She looks yeah. so smart with you on. <laughs> this is the least pony she's ever looked. Oh, I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> At a glance, people think you are in halo. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Oh Good girl, and that way. Like Ooh. So Good girl. Really soft and supple. Oh, Good girl. I like Piggy March. Good girl. I find her a little bit easier to have a nice bend right than left. Okay. When I get a, a bend on the left rein, she feels like she sort of went to turn in and push her inside ribs uh, at me a little bit. Okay. So I've just tried to say, move your back a little bit. And, oh, good girl. Find her, get a little bit flexible. Good girl. Of going, letting go in her back a little bit. Yeah. Going one way and the other. Good girl. Good girl. With just a little bit of a softer, Transition from one way to the other. Yeah. Good girl. Without feeling that she then speeds up or loses her rhythm to you. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Because especially on a little short horse that can use their neck and their body against you a lot. Yeah. It's quite good to try and just get them to move about a bit so they yeah. don't, they're not like a short little board underneath you a little yeah. bit because it's easy for them to set exactly. against you a bit. Yeah. And like I said, they'll always be stronger than us. Good girl. They'll always be stronger. 
it's trying to train them not to be. <laughs> yeah. But if it's a battle of strength, we're never going to win it. No, exactly. Good girl. Got a chonker like that. <laughs> She's very sweet. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. I can't believe how different she looks. It's really <laughs> weird. I'm sure she doesn't. No, she she really does. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but she's got Piggy on her. I don't know. What do you think? Watching guys, she just I think she looks. She like feels quite straight to me. Oh, good. Maybe <laughs> I'm the crooked one. <laughs> For you, don't be hard. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, no, I think you're you're a good love, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I do, I just make problems up in my head. Well she'll be probably crooked on the left frame with me because it's my yeah. fault. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Oh my god. So I'll just see what gears I've got. Ooh, yeah. Move on a little bit. Collect a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Just before I start jumping, it's quite nice to see, get the feel of how much leg I can get on. Yeah. So if I want to increase to a fence or weight to a fence, I sort of start just figuring out what buttons I might have. Good girl. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet When I collect her, it's just with a nice feeling rain. So it's not just a pulling rain. Yeah. Because there's got to be a feel, half halt release, feel, half halt release, sit on your bum. I was going to say, it all looked really smooth that, like she didn't change in her kind of frame, which Good was really girl. nice. You don't want her to get too short and tight. Yeah. So she'll block that against you and just get a bit stronger. Right. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, to rock. Nice trot, nice trot, nice trot. Good girl. Good girl. She likes working, doesn't she? She does. She is a little workhorse, bless her. Good girl. It's all right, it's not going to bite you. Good girl. Rhythm trot and rhythm trot. Good girl. Do you get nice marks in your dressage test? Do you know what she does actually? Yeah. Yeah. She's often within like, I'd say the top top five after dressage. Yeah, good girl, well done. Unless I have an absolute disaster. You've done a nice job. Oh, thank you. You know, she does feel, she feels very happy. Very nice to me, she feels pretty even. Okay, that's, well, that's good news. On both, that's really good news. Uh-oh, we're flying off down here. Good girl. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, balance, balance, good girl. Balance, sit, sit, balance, balance. Good girl. Balance. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Enter. See, when I ask for a bigger canter, yeah. I'm trying not to think that her front end buries into the sand. Okay. Well, the, so it's like trying to just keep thinking, balance the front. So she stays stood on her own legs. Yeah. In self-carriage with her ears and eyes looking ahead. Good girl. So it's a bigger canter, but just still try to light the forehand rather than just sinking faster. Right. And she draws you down onto her hand yeah. and just goes a bit quicker. Keep thinking, sit up with your body. Good girl. Uh -huh. You might find it easier then for the d coming back at you because you've not let her surge onto her shoulder with his front end. Oh, uh, okay. Good girl. Interesting. So even when you're thinking forward, think uphill yeah. at the same time as well. Good girl. Good girl. So that then it hopefully helps you Good girl, of collecting. Good girl. Good girl. Our fault soften. Our fault soften. Good. Good. Yeah. And on the soften, you want to be careful not to go soften. Right. Stay sat up. Okay. So it's a half fault. It can be from your arms. Yeah. Not your body, because okay. body's a bit of a forward sign. Yeah. Forward giving signal. Okay. So when you're like pull, you don't want to be like pull, soften. Pull. Soften, right? Because that little bit of our balance is a signal to them to be a bit go. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, go. You can by all means sit right back when it's a when it's a whoa, but just careful if you're trying to stop her getting strong. That little half halt where you just release for a second. Right. You need to keep your body nice and tall. Ah, okay. So you don't then just give a forward aid to her yeah, to like say go again. Signal. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> You'd probably do it anyway, but it was just... Um, no, but that's such a good point. Like, I don't we, think I think about how much my body weight changes things, like yes. where my balance is. Well, I think it can do. Good girl, down to a little stretch. Steady, rhythm, rhythm, good girl. Rhythm, good girl. I like I'm pooped. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Well done, darling. Think your nose. Have a stretch. So, would you always do kind of like this amount of flat work before you jump? Well, I do. I feel like I'm not warming my horses up well enough. But then I'm figuring her out. Yeah. So I do, um, and everyone's different. But mine are event horses, so they're usually pretty fit. Yeah. Pretty fit, pretty strong. So, and for me, um, I definitely. I like mine rideable yeah. and relaxed and warmed up and I don't like them just sort of, for me, I wouldn't just come in and trot circle canter two and then be like, jump, yeah. go, because, you know, most of mine now are highly tuned athletes and sort of quite fit that yeah. I'd sort of think if they were fresh and muscles not warmed up, you can More like pull things yeah. and tweak things and, and that sort of thing. So. But it would depend on, you know, if I was on a real baby, I'd probably trot in and quite quickly be trotting over poles and going trotting over little things. Yeah. You know, because I'd want to give them something to focus on quite quickly because otherwise they can either come in here and be naughty or spend too long or you've got a, you've got a window of their concentration or, or diesel level. Yeah. You know, yeah. they can conk out quite quickly. So they're all very different. But... Um, yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, you know where she's at. Good girl, Danny. Um, Thank you. You know, that might be, I might have done more than she's done in the last two weeks. It's like, oh gosh, she's going to be tired now. No, she'll be fine. <laughs> but no, I but would... it's just interesting because she does look a lot like softer and more supple than, the... I mean, that is, you know, partly because it's your, you riding her, but I think it is actually nice. I should put a bit more time into her before she jumps. Before she jumps. Yeah, because she just, yeah, she looks really nice. 
that's your um, that's your feeling. Your you know she's yours. You guys do. I don't think there are any rules, but yeah. I would. I I I normally do. Yeah. Feel like they're rideable. I've got them through. I've got the muscles. I've changed my gears. Yeah, exactly. Or I know that I'll just get jumping and they might be fresh and they'll charge at the jumps or bugger off afterwards or have a buck or piss about. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's what you want from your days. Yeah. You, what you want to do. <laughs> what do you, where, what do I start with? Do you Are want they, me to put a cross pole up or do you want to come to... Well, yeah, probably one smaller than that just to get used to her little stride. Yeah. And if she does... <laughs> If, you, what, what fence would you like to start over? Do you yeah, want me maybe to? just that white, white one. Maybe if you drop the top, the top drop the top pole, so I can do it each way. Perfect. That would be perfect because, you know, like you say, if she gets keen and just sort of comes off the corner and, and runs at them. Yeah. I don't I want feel something. Like everything I've said now hasn't been true, so she'll probably be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really know. <laughs> Um, who knows? Good girl. No, that'll be fine. That'll be absolutely fine. Um, but she's not, she's not been spooky. She just can have a look. Yeah. But um, you put leg on and she goes. Yeah. But you just get jumping her normally. Do you feel you have to ride her at the fences? The no, first... no, I'd say she normally just takes you in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on, darling, let's go and hop some hops. <laughs> <laughs> Ding-a-ling. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Cute little thing. <laughs> Good girl. I don't know why she's looking so calm today. She's calm What's today. Going on? I don't want to see the other way. Little thing. Okay, she took the put the pole on. Okay. I can't believe how calm she's looking. Good girl. Ooh. Oh, well done. Hi, Jeff. Are you involved? Do we need you? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Dan? You just be careful. Jeffers. Bloody hell. It's all we need. Poor Jam. She's like, <laughs> good girl. Easy, Jeffrey. Easy, 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 Jeffrey. Easy. Jeffers hasn't moved so fast in a long time. <laughs> he loves ponies. <laughs> She's dog proof. Good girl. Well oh. done. I'll do those two once more. Okay. Try and dodge Jeffrey. Good girl. Girl. Okay. Never seen her jump so calmly. She's not so cut. She's calm. She feels very sweet. Good. Good girl. Do I do the scary fella? That yeah, one's okay I'll to go to, to next. Do you want me to change it at all, or are you happy? Well, you say you're the boss. I'm happy. Uh, well, I mean, if you're, if you're, yeah, she'll, yeah. If you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. Perfect. I'm happy. Got a brave five-star rider on now. <laughs> as long as I don't upset your pony. No, no, no she'll be fine. <laughs> She's okay. Good girl. Oh, walk to canter. We're. <laughs> it's a bit scary, Jan, but it's okay. 
It's a bit bigger, but it's okay. Oh, good girl. Oh, that was so cute. Her <laughs> little knees. Her little knees, her little face. Come on, we'll do that again. Good girl. <laughs> Yeah, well done, darling. Oh, That's she's adorable. She's so cute. Oh, well done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want her up to a metre? Or what's she been do doing? She, I've, only, I've literally jumped her once. I jumped okay, her two days ago just to make sure that the Okay, so she doesn't fine. want to do too much then because she had her injury, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think we'll be all right to go off of it. Well, you're the boss. Don't, goodness sake, say that... Piggy March broke my horse. Well, I know, don't... No, but none of us is, need that. She's going to have to be able to jump a metre in a week's time at London. Oh God, okay, yeah, go, so up, go up a couple, darling. If she can't jump a metre now, it's better to know now than it is right. at London. Do you a want meter. it square? Do you want it up? That looks quite... Did you go up two? That was up three, I think. Okay. Go down one. Well, I think that would be a metre, but we can go at a metre, metre five if you want to. If you want to... That's fine, I don't mind. You're you, the I, boss. Are you sure? Yeah. I can put it back down. You're fine. <laughs> Getting my money's worth here. Yeah, you are. You can go. <laughs> Good girl. Up one hole. Um, no, up a few. They okay. can go up a few. They can go up. Um, Two or three. Three, I think. Oh, we need to get, need to get up. We need to get up a bit before we get to the. You might just want to one, two, three. What does that look like down there? Four strides or? Do you want me to walk like, it? Yeah, I think let's walk it. Just so, does she do all right with your distances, or do you, do you not walk distances? I I do, but it depends how wimpy I'm feeling on the day. My, yeah. okay. I always go for an ad, but she can actually make them if I okay. ride properly. Okay, well, let's see. It'll be interesting to see what it is, okay. and then I'll ride her. Two, one, two. Let's try. Two, three. Five strides. Okay, perfect. That will be fine. So Quite they can go it. up, and that one go go up as well. But maybe not three. Four two? this one or two. two? Oh my word. Is that going to be too big for her? No, no, I think that'll be fine. That looks quite ugly and uninvited. Should we put the, the pole up? Of course. On it. Does it look, that looks quite nasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it? <laughs> put the pole up and then maybe kick the back white pole to okay. the front of it as a little ground pole. Perfect. Then that might look a bit ni nicer for her. It looks yeah, a, bit a bit of a airy, doesn't bit it? savage looking, isn't it? Yeah, savage looking. That's it. And then I'll do the red vertical once more and then finish up the line. OK. Good girl. Good girl. Right, Jeff, do we need you involved, darling? What are you doing? What's your, you've had your Weetabix this morning. He's <laughs> not a crucial part of this yes, whole thing. <laughs> Good girl, sweetheart. Come on. Right. Ding-a-ling. Ding-a-ling. <laughs> Well done. Oh, good girl. Well done. You're doing very well. Easy peasy, she says. Man, that's great fun. <laughs> Good girl. Girl. Oh. I get to keep my neck strap. 
Yay! I get no two. fault, so you get a neck strap. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Ooh -hoo. And trot. Good girl. She says that was cool, Mum. That was good. I could jump in a jam. <laughs> she says a meter's easy peasy, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Hopefully, we get the piggy seal of approval to go yeah. 100 at Paddington. <laughs> it is quite a jump, though, up in height when you see it on it the ring, is. isn't it? Yeah. Good girl. It's I'm pleased, nice. though, because having, like, basically three months off jumping to come out. She's come out really nicely. Yeah. Wow, Jam, aren't you a lucky pony? Oh, she says that was fun. Oh, good fun. That was fun. Does that, um, what does she, does she, she obviously didn't look like what she feels like. She keeps saying she's so calm, so she's normally quite Well, I, I, I think it's you on her. I think right. you've had her in such a nice rhythm. Like, okay. it didn't change at all. Whereas I feel like mine's like, what? scoot around the corner and then like pull up loads after yeah. and then. So yeah, you've definitely given me a goalpost to work towards now. Well, it's easier said than done though, but um, you know, cause we ride hundreds of horses a week, you know, yeah. loads in a day. So we're jumping a lot of fences. So we get confident with it. Yeah. You don't need to be hard on yourself at all because it's, it's where you're at. You don't yeah. ride 10 horses no, a day. Exactly. And you know, wouldn't be as confident in that. You've got to, you're just going out and having some fun. But you can always, I always think just doing poles in your flat work on the floor yeah. is quite good. Um, or tiny, you know, having a course of cross poles out right. sometimes. So it's not a big jump. So you yeah. don't panic about the size of the jump, but have like three or four cross poles out. And you just keep cantering. Can I teach myself to keep a rhythm? Yeah. Because if you were coming to that five times, yeah, you'd exactly. be like, uh oh, oh yeah. I just don't want to get it wrong. And then you do too much because you don't want to get it wrong. A hundred percent. And it's just then a vicious circle. Yeah. So if you teach yourself in between jumping, and if it's only tiny cross pole or poles, you're not putting wear and tear on them either. Yeah. Of over jumping them if they're coming back from injuries or yeah, something exactly. like that. Good girl. Oh, jam. <laughs> she was very cute. We had a lot of fun. She's a sweet little <laughs> thing. Sweet little thing. A little throwback to the pony days. Yeah. <laughs> that must be a meter, that thing there. That yeah, definitely. It. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Surely. Beefy. <laughs> surely. They look bigger when you're on something small, don't they? I was like, surely that's a metre. 120, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> surely that's a metre. Good girl. Right, very good. Very good. Oh dear, now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> and Brownie down. will be excited. Oh God. <laughs> At least you don't have to make the mind up for it. And all you have to do is contain it. Yeah. And he will go, bing. Actually, the first time you probably jump that one, he'll go bing, really oh. quite big. God, I don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You did amazing at that uh, thing. The pictures and everything were really cool yeah, as well. Yeah, they were so nice. They were so they? nice. Yeah, they were really good. No, that was really good crack. It was. I won't be able to recreate it now, though. Yeah, he can. He can just let's go and have a go. But he can be a little bit more gassy at home. Okay. But we'll have a have a. Um, but I put your bubble bit in, and we could drop the rain down one. Okay. So, come on, let's go. You need to get your boots on and get going. <laughs> oh dear, right. <laughs> that was incredible. You were so good. Well done. Well done. Oh, hang on, we've not undone you, have we? Yeah, Piggy made that look like an absolute walk in the park. But that's why I'm so glad and so thankful that I'm in this position that I can come and make these videos because how often is it you get to have someone like Piggy March ride your horse and give you loads of homework to like come away with and to actually see? Sometimes it can be quite hard to visualize and I feel like I get a bit defeatist. Like, oh, well, that's just Jam's way of going. Like, that's just how we do things. And seeing Piggy do it with her, it's like, oh no, we can, we could actually achieve that if we work our bums off and a miracle happens. <laughs> Good girl. Well done. You looked really posh, Jammy. I think you're going to be really pleased with your footage from Grantland's Media, who's the sponsor of this video. Seamless, Pete. Seamless. Piggy did eventually notice her neck strap, so I better make sure that I'm not taking that away. That's hers. Look at that. 
kind of want to keep it now, memorabilia. I always start warming up when there's six before me. Yeah, okay. Good yeah. girl, Dang, I'm sorry, but you can't have sweaty marks around you. Guys, I have insisted that I be washing off, but Piggy says no. <laughs> <laughs> if there is six before, between four and six before you, then you go and warm up. Yeah. And have a plan. Before then, if you've got, if you've arrived out, it's been a long time since you dress dressed or something, give yourself, start working around when there's 10 before you. Okay. Trot and canter, move the canter on and back. Yeah. And couch yourself and do 20 transitions. You know, from trot to walk, walk, trot, canter. And a transition is, can be a, within your pace, forward and back. Yeah. Or a full one, trot to canter, canter back to trot. Circle one way, circle the other way, get the back moving, get the bend going and breathe. It makes you yeah. ride them, it makes you breathe. Yeah. Rather than sitting on like a passenger with feeling like you've got jelly legs and you can't breathe. Yeah, that is, that's my current warm-up routine. Because you're shitting your pants because you're scared of cocking up when you go in the ring. Yeah. So, I brush her legs because I think she'll... I can brush her legs at home, don't worry. Yeah, okay, she'll get sand. I think if you just wet that, it will... Yeah, it will want to give her a... Oh, Beautiful. Wow, you really get the full service when you, uh, when you come here. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, little, Jam. Nasty little sweat marks, can we, darling? And then you'll, no. brush off, you'll brush off fine when you get home. Exactly. Right, well, the next video of me riding is going to be a different episode, so we'll close this one. Yeah, he's tacked up ready for you, darling. Oh my God, he's ready. Okay. Yeah. So there is one tradition, Piggy, in that right. you're the only person that knows what I'm filming next and oh, okay. we need a bit of advice without giving it away to people. So I'll quickly tell you off air. I know and I'd say any advice for going to have a day's riding with is take a slow gin for starters. <laughs> <laughs> because um, she's a good girl and she's a good hunting girl and she'll love a, love a little tipple before she goes. <laughs> and it might help you, you might need it before you go riding around with her as well. <laughs> And no, I don't know what advice. Well, I mean, I, mean, I think that's pretty, pretty you, solid advice. To you, be fair. You've put yourself into the lion's den of going for a good fly about with her. So <laughs> um, just enjoy. Yeah, good little shot of slow gin. Enjoy and take gin. <laughs> that's, good girl. that's pretty apt. <laughs> and um, no, you'll have it. You'll have a great time. It's what it yeah. should be. Good girls, girls day out and having fun. Exactly. Enjoy your horses. And she exactly. Won't, um, um, yeah, she's a, she's a good girl. You'll enjoy that. Oh, amazing. Well, thank you so much. That's all right. This has been incredible. You've given me homework. I mean, oh, I've given you thing. homework. Good, good girl. girl. Come on, Jammy. You're getting worried, aren't you? Right. Yeah. Live life, love you guys. Thanks for watching and tune in for the bonus episode of me riding one of Piggy's. Good girl. Good girl. Mish, mish. She wants to stay. Yeah, she's like, I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Piggy was my new rider. <laughs> <laughs>